Hey everybody, Brad here with the Big Family Homestead. Hope you're having a blessed day wherever, whenever you're watching this video. All right, let's dig in. We're seeing it in the news. Uh, round two looks like we're having um, visions of the past, which seem to be our near future. Oh my gracious, here it comes. They're calling the white lung issues from overseas are now rearing their ugly heads here. And uh, it looks to be like people are calling this Kova, Kova, Kova 2.0. And um, frankly, I'm not actually, my questions have nothing to do with the medical side of this, but more of the practical life side to this. And what I mean by that, folks, is this. If it's going to be some crazy new illness, you know, obviously we're going to have to deal with that as things come about. Uh, and you'll have to take necessary precautions because I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to give you medical advice. I'm not here to do any of that kind of stuff. No, no, no. You talk to your own doctor about that kind of stuff. If you want to watch a more in-depth perspective from a more medical side, but not a not a doctor, but the Patriot Nurse, excellent video to watch. Still, I recommend you check out your doctor when it comes to anything medical. Now, that said... We're seeing a new illness here on our shores, and I want to ask you guys, first of all, first, here, here, please put your comments and your thoughts in the video description down below because you need to have your voice heard when it comes to all this. Um, what happened to the flu? Yeah. What happened to the flu? We never hear of the common cold anymore. We never hear of the flu anymore. We don't hear of these big presses for, oh my gracious, all of these folks. We used to hear it all the time that all these folks, horribly sick, new strains of flu every year. What happened to that? Hmm. Are we just bracing? Here's, here's big question one. Are we just bracing for the new terrible, scary thing that's on the horizon every year or every so often. Because if you guys remember, it wasn't that long ago that we were being pressured by everybody in the medical field and everybody who you'd walk by a Walmart pharmacy or a Walgreens pharmacy, they would even have tables out here, have candy, have this, have that. Just come get your shot and you're good to go. And now... We don't see much of the flu issue being pushed nearly as much, do you? Because I see it, but boy, is it like 1% of what it used to be. Now, my question is, if the, the, the new superbugs are just going to replace the common flu now, this is just going to be commonplace, if that's what we're looking at, is it now just that you got to line up to get a new shot for whatever scary thing there is year after year after year. Because if I remember correctly now, again, I'm not a doctor. You guys put your two cents in the video description down below. But I remember kind of vaguely hearing something that when you got those shots, they weren't preventative because those bugs that you were getting the shot for had they 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 didn't have a shot for it because it can't prevent something that doesn't exist yet so you were getting a shot for the flu that already existed and had kind of already run its course check me on that put your comments down below is that what this is going to be now and I'm I'm being serious. Whether you took the jab or didn't take the jab, 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 I'm not asking that. I'm asking, is this the new norm where bug comes out, they roll out a new plethora of things that you're supposed to do, protocols, and then it just becomes the new norm. But this time... Instead of it being like it used to be with the common cold or the flu, 
where you just might have gotten sick. And unless you were really susceptible, you never really had to go to the doctor for the most part. And then even a smaller percentage of people, they had real bad respiratory issues, had to go to the hospital. And and heaven forbid, some folks did pass. But that was rare. You know what I mean? And, and, and that just used to be how it was. And this was not long ago. Now is it just, forget about all that, skip all that. We just do new crazy big thing every few, you know, months, six months, 12 months. That's the question I have. Because, you know what, and and I'm not trying to make light of if this really is a big issue, then we should deal with it. But here's also another question, all right? I got I got questions, folks. Do you got answers? Put your answers down below cuz here's another question. Why didn't this stuff happen 10 years ago to the level it is now? Why didn't it happen 8 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago to the level it's happening cuz I'm sure there's already people going, "It did cuz da 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 da." No, I'm talking about like it just seems like we had COVID, 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 round one. Then you had to get boosted and da-da-da-da-da, and, and then you would be okay. Remember, we were told, oh, if you get this thing, then you're going to be fine. And then it wasn't fine. Oh, but if you get this, then you're going to be fine. But it wasn't fine. And then it kept going, and now we got – I mean, super resistant this one and 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 it just keeps going and my my question is well did somebody just like open pandora's box one day and go whoops i shouldn't have done that but now the genie's out of the bottle so to the so to speak and and guess what you know now it's just going to be happening all the time why didn't it happen before If these things are naturally occurring, as we were told, do you remember they were naturally occurring, as we were told? I mean, how many times did that fella, the big cheese doctor, get on TV and tell everybody this is not gain-of-function research, did not happen, None of it was all naturally occurring. Remember bat soup, bat soup stew. That's what we were told. How come nobody's ever gotten to the bottom of that, by the way? Ah, Brad, don't ask questions. Just take the thing that we tell you to take, cough up the money, and don't ask questions. Hmm. Well, ladies and gents, like I said, this is actually not a medical video in any way, no shape, no form. More questions about, is this how life is going to be moving ahead? Is this just, they roll it out every few months, six months, 12 months, and then poof, that's it? No more cold, no more flu? Or should we just be grateful that the common cold is apparently cured? Should we be grateful that flu is no longer a thing. What are your thoughts? Please put them down below. Be kind. I just have questions, and it seems like no matter how many times we jump on this merry-go-round, nobody who's a leader is really answering them. Have an awesome and blessed day, folks.